I have some new toys today, which reminded me this famous physics lecture. <laughs> well, more on toys later. But now here is a quiz for you. Which fall do you think is harder for the climber? This one? <laughs> or this one? <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> so a really hard indoors fall where we intentionally created a lot of drag by zigzagging the rope and then belaying in the hardest nice. way we could. Oh. Or a massive outdoors whipper. Which do you think was harder for the climber? So if you're one of these 99% of the people who think that you know the answer, wait for it, because it's not that simple and I've been there and I'm gonna explain throughout this video. But actually the main motivation for me for this video was not to just compare these two falls, but to measure what are the forces on really, really hard, real climbing falls. And now you might ask, who cares? Like numbers, whatever. Rope, a fuzzy rope happens. We keep falling and falling and falling and the rope gets more and more damaged, more and more fuzzy. And in some extreme cases, very damaged, like this one, got really, really, really wrecked. Nom, 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 And now the real question is, how dangerous this is? Could I break this rope on real climbing fall? If I would have taken a couple of more falls, would it have snapped or no? So the first idea how to test this was very simple. Just go outside and make a bunch of falls and see if it's gonna snap. Obviously by having some backup rope or something. But yeah, nobody would want to take a bunch of really, really hard falls again and again and again and again and then to make it to hit that spot, the same spot, and again and again and again would be pretty difficult. So instead, I decided to reach out to Mammut and ask if I could come and play with their drop tower. So this is where the rope testing magic happens. Basically, every rope manufacturer has a facility for testing ropes. Unfortunately, so-called standard test is really, really hard. What are the forces on standard tests? Um, like around for a single rope, it's around like eight to nine KN. Pretty much impossible to reach in real life scenarios. And my guess it would just snap this rope instantly. And that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to reduce, to modify that test to be more or less like really, really hard, realistic fall. And for that, I needed to know what are the real forces on really hard falls. <laughs> Hard is easy. And to do so, it was a good time for me to visit Andy from Line Grip and get myself a couple of these. It's basically a device that can measure forces. It's the only device you can have logging uh, for a specific amount of time without connecting any other device to it. Like there are scales or load cells, but you have to attach a notebook or a laptop. And that will be quite complicated, especially for him, uh, to take a laptop with him. And no, this video is not sponsored. I bought this and the other one myself. Well, so technically it's sponsored by my curiosity and by good people who support me by visiting my website. So, what's your estimate? Yeah. Oh, you have to estimate the peak yeah. force? Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, that'll be 2.95. 2.95 is yes. your estimate. Well, um, as a developer, you have to be precise. Uh, it's 2.95. Okay, yeah. 2.95. Right. Uh, 3.1. 2.5. What's your guess? 
2.7. And what do you wish for? <laughs> what do you wish for? 1.5, please. <laughs> 1.5. So obviously to get real data, we needed to do real false and doing really, really hard false with real humans is sketchy. So if for whatever reason you will decide to repeat this, don't. So, right. 2.56. 2.5 2. already. So How does 2.5 feel? Uh, soft. Soft? Yeah. Okay, let's try harder. So our plan was to start soft and then keep making harder and harder falls where the belayer would do basically the opposite of the soft catch, basically as hard as he can. Ah, I was too, 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 too late. Yeah, but that looked like a hard catch this time. 2.89. 2.89. That's close to three kilonewtons already, but the fall this time, how was the fall? It felt much more harder than before. So ah, I would say it, it was okay. It, it's, yeah. it doesn't feel hard. No, it was not hard, but it uh, wasn't soft, so... That's a sacrifice <laughs> for the experiment. I feel sorry for you. No problem. No problem, no problem, his hands are bleeding, no problem. For science, as Ryan says, for science. For science. What's your weight, by the way? 72. And yours, you said? 78. So, we swapped. At some point, we realized that making really hard falls just by belayer efforts is not gonna be enough, so we decided to introduce extra friction mm. in the system. Ah, that's a nice workout. Advanced course. So how does it feel to fall on your own equipment? That feels cool, but let's see how it feels falling at all. Because I'm such a new climber, I never fall. Ah, so maybe you should watch my videos about fear of falling. <laughs> and to play safe, since we switched the system a little bit, we started with a soft catch. So how did it felt for you 1.6 kilonewtons? It was, uh, the fall was cool, but the swing was enormous. Don't jump backwards when you fall. Jump forwards? So I have to... No, no, just let go and... Um, yeah, this is actually a very common mistake by beginner fallers, is to push or jump away from the wall during the fall. Obviously, the harder you push away from the wall, the bigger the pendulum into the wall gonna be, and your legs are not gonna be happy. So, don't jump to the outside. Yeah, just let go, straight yeah. down. Don't touch the rope. Eins, zwei, drei. <laughs> so you got only 2.1. Yep. How does that felt? Uh, I couldn't tell the difference to before, except that the, 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 the wall contact was there. No difference. Hard one. Okay. Hard one. But see, this time when you fell straight down, you did not touch the wall at all. Great. It'll be hard, but it won't hurt. Come on. Zwei. Zwei. Eins. Oh, fuck. Jesus. 2.6 Oh my god, that was crazy! Ah. That was crazy, and it's... Oh, ah. <laughs> and it's only 2.6 kilonewtons! Uh. <laughs> so, how was this fall for you? Uh, again, it, it was... Perfectly okay, except for the wall contact. That was that was pretty hard this time. So 
even harder without me jumping out. So Tommy, yeah. as hard as possible. So don't jump out. Eyes. Try. Try. Oh. 2.8. At this point, we had a ton of drag. The belayer belayed as hard as he can, and we reached 2.8 kN of force to the climber. But Andy really wanted to reach his 2.95 estimate, so we decided to increase the distance of the fall a little bit. Yeah, that's the drag. Yeah, that's enough, I think. That's enough, just start with that. And don't forget to let go. Yeah. Eins, zwei, drei. Woo! 2.9. 2.9, it's very close to your guesstimate. You said 2.95 is your guess. I gotta go again. Take this much more rope. <laughs> yeah, no. We actually maxed out what we can do in that climbing gym and trying to make even bigger fall would result into the fall which is too close to the ground. But we had another test candidate. And what's your weight? 65. Whoa. That's a 2.9. 2.9! And quiz number two. How can a lighter climber generate the same force as the heavier one? Well, let's take a look again at the force. Whoa. Do you notice the difference? So the lighter climber fell more straight down, resulting into pretty much all the force going into the rope. While the heavier climber jumped out a little bit, that increased the pendulum, so there is less force into the rope and more force into the pendulum, or into the wall, or into your ankles. So here is a mini model to demonstrate that. If I take a 10 kilogram of mass and drop it Next to the anchor, I get 2.67 kilonewtons. Now, if I do this again, but I step a meter back, I get 2.1 kilonewtons because a bunch of force went into the swing. If I would try to even increase the swing more, Now the force was only one kilonewton. So how was that last fall? Oh, it was hard. <laughs> Have you ever got a fall that hard on real rock? No, okay. never. Almost? Or not yeah, close? Yeah, there was one that was close, but not as hard as this one. So still your estimate is off by... 0.03. Shame on me. <laughs> <laughs> but that was close, eh? That was very close. Uh, do you know that our Max was exactly the same? He had 2.92 and I had 2.92. We... Ah, so maybe that's the universal limit of the hard fall. It is! <laughs> it is! We found it! Yay! <laughs> so, a couple of takeaways from this. First, Obviously, it's really hard to design a real-life experiments to be very precise because it not only depends on how high the fall was, how heavy the climber was, how hard the catch was, but also how much the climber jumped out from the wall. So that's another thing to consider. And obviously, the practical takeaway is that the harder you push yourself away from the wall or jump away from the wall, the harder you will smack back into the wall. We have a game. If you squeeze it, 
it reads a number. Can you explain why? Oh yeah, it's uh, material deformation. Uh, there's two. Uh, uh, wow, you call it an animation. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> there's two strips that measure the material deformation. When you pull this, you can't see, but the material stretches. And these strips measure that, and the electronics uh, convert that through a voltage that changes through the uh, stretch of the strips. And so if you press, you also deform the material, just in a different way, but the, the, the strips just register material deformation, so you can go like this, or you can go like this. It's the same. So basically, long story short, what are we gonna do with this now? Oh, we're just gonna play a game with who gets the highest number. Number is irrelevant, doesn't mean anything, but, oh yeah, it does. If it's the highest, you're the best. Ha! <laughs> okay, let's see. Go. Me! Oh. Of course. Uh, zero. All right. So don't show my hand behind. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh no! Oh. A scream at zero point. Oh. You can do better, do better. Yeah, but I use only three fingers, so... Um, no, do again, do again, do again. No, let's give it to oh, I'll try a left hand. You, no, no, just do the strongest, best. Give it your best. <laughs> <laughs> no way, no chance. Uh, this How is, was it? This is... For two. Yeah, but it wasn't me. Who was it? You. Okay, the big guy. So. Uh, so. Look at this guy. <laughs> Once again. With the left hand. Wait, wait, we haven't even seen the result. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you're getting red. <laughs> six, eight, zero, six, eight. And that for a right-hander who works in the office. Yeah. But he Great. just did with left hand. Yeah, but he's right. Now the right hand. Oh! 76! Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. What does it mean? Oh no. Oh, the end. So. So. <laughs> 64. We try again. We try again. Oh no. Oh no. 59. 59. That's not possible. Once, once again, again, once again, once again. Wait. What was yours? I forgot. 74? 76. Yeah. So who is gonna beat his record? Try again, try again, beat him. Oh no, it's not getting any higher. You should no. either try Passat. I can scream like... Ah! Go, go with scream, let's see if it helps. <laughs> no, it's not getting any higher. No, it, it and got you lower. And don't put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. Oh. This is this is not in the video what you're watching now. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me try. Wait, 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 wait. It says 0 0.01 already. So I'm winning already it's by... Karma. Like, see? It's you're already... Sc he's scared of <laughs> you. Let's see, how, how should I go, like full hand or yeah, just the finger? Yeah, maybe it's a technique thing. Yeah. He's not really strong, he's just got the Let's best see. technique. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what it, is was, it? it was a bigger scream than <laughs> the result. Like me, like me. <laughs> not good. Yeah! Oh. Okay, 71. Oh. I still need 0.3 to match him. How hard do you climb? Sorry? How hard do you climb? Yeah, very hard. <laughs> very hard. <laughs> I found the trick. Oh no. Oh no. But well, you did it behind your back. What was it? <laughs> what? No way. <laughs> what? No, I, I, I feel that I'm cheating. So the trick is that before what I was trying was this. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So what else? But now I did this. Uh, and that gives me way... Wait. Oh, stay safe. <laughs> stay safe, yeah. <laughs> I am, thanks. 
But what, what if you twist it even more? So you go from corner to so, corner. So basically my grip is strongest in this position. That's why I get more. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he's getting seven something already. Okay, let's go. You uh, ready? Zero. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, this, uh, let me, let me just show mine. No! <laughs> That's good compared to before. You were talking about challenge. And uh, we could do that challenge. And Line Grip Corporation would sponsor... What? $2,000 for the challenge winner. Can I get it? I, I won already, no? So let me get this straight. Like if I travel <laughs> around and give this to people... Yep. Yeah. Does that count or no? Yes. It counts? Yes. It counts. Okay. Because so, so far I'm winning. Most of all, you're like the Guinness Book juror. You check that they don't cheat. So, so far I'm winning, right? If nobody presses harder than this, I get 2,000 euros. True. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know that you want to try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to try double? <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> like on this thing was out. Okay. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I like his power scream. <laughs> that... <laughs> What's your power scream? <laughs> <laughs> Adam Andro was my coach. All right, now I have to go and edit the part two of this video. So I'm just gonna leave you with this link here.